Welcome back. Here's what's new in DevTools in Chrome 67. First up, in the network panel, you can now search across network headers. When you've got the network panel open, press Command F or Control F to open the new search UI. Enter some text, press Enter, and DevTools searches across all network headers and responses for that text. Click Use Regular Expressions to provide a pattern instead. Note that you omit the forward slashes when using regex. Also new to the network panel, you can now copy network requests as fetch expressions. The Sources panel now supports a workflow for breaking out of infinite loops. Here on this page, I've got an interval logging the current time. When I click this button, you can see that it causes an infinite loop because the time is no longer updating. To break out of the infinite loop, I pause the page, then hold Resume, then select Stop. The Styles pane is getting a couple updates that make it easier to work with CSS variables. When you've got a color property that's set to a CSS variable, the Styles pane now shows you a preview of that color. You can also hover over any variable, whether it resolves to a color or something else, and DevTools shows you its computed value. The Color Picker also has a new CSS variables palette, which shows you the CSS variables that apply to that element. The Audits panel has some new workflows for configuring and viewing reports, as well as two new audits. Before you run an audit, you can use these new config options to preserve desktop settings, disable throttling, or preserve storage. After you run an audit, you'll notice two new audits, preloading key requests and avoiding invisible text while loading web fonts. Last, if you want to analyze your report in the Performance panel, click the new View Trace button. Also new in the Performance panel, you can now click the User Timing track to view your measurements in the Summary, Call Tree, and Bottom Up tabs. This is related to work we're doing around site isolation, which improves security by separating frames into different processes. So if you see a lot of frames on your main thread flame chart, it means you've got site isolation enabled. Likewise, you can click any of these tracks in order to isolate that information, just like the user timing track. The security panel now shows you certificate transparency information for each origin. That's all for new features. Here are some UI changes. The Memory panel now lists out all available VM instances in a table rather than hiding them behind a drop-down menu. On the Sources panel, what used to be called the Network tab is now called the Page tab. And last, we've been making various small tweaks to the dark theme, so it should feel a little less Halloween-y now. That's all for Chrome 67. Here's a bonus tip. Surma actually made a micro tip video on this already, but I think it's so cool that it deserves another mention. When you want to figure out how an animation's layers work, press Command Shift P or Control Shift P to open the command menu. Open the animations tab. Click Set Speed to 10%. Open the command menu again. Open the layers panel and then rotate the perspective a bit so that it's easier to see the layers. Now, when you interact with the page, you can see how the layers animate in slow mo. Thanks for watching. As always, leave me a comment if you've got questions or feedback. Otherwise, I'll see you in six weeks for Chrome 68.